Hey guys, did you hear the news? Ford is supposed to be bringing back the Ranchero. It is supposed to be taking over one of their cars or one of their SUVs on the market. But there are those of you who may say, well, what's the Ranchero? I never heard of it before. Well, Ford unveiled this car, as you can see right here, back in 1957. And it was introduced as a car truck. Basically, for people who needed something less of a pickup truck, still have a car to drive and a bed to haul things in. So it became pretty popular in 1957, and people enjoyed it. So this car became pretty popular during the late 1950s into the 60s, as well as into the 70s. And it gained a lot of popularity with people, but it also gained a lot of competition. And that caused problems for the Ranchero as with more competition, well, it brought dwindling sales. And through the rest of the 1970s, the Ranchero started having more problems with sales. So it was brought to a close come 1979, Ford decided to kill off the Ranchero. Now, Ford understands and they see what the people want. So they understand that people want to see some of these cars brought back to life, especially the Ranchero, something that people have, haven't have seen in years. You brought back this car, you brought back that car, you got rid of this car, you got rid of that car. Why not give the Ranchero a chance? And so now Ford is building the Ranchero and bringing it back to a modern state, with, but they haven't specified what type of specs they have for this car. Ford has made it known that the car will be built on a Ford Focus platform and a unibody design. And when you have several options for a motor, you may have a turbocharged four-cylinder and possibly a hybrid version. So yeah, this is just another way Ford is looking to reach out, not only to the people who like a different type of vehicle so for different type of things they need in life because you're getting a car plus with a truck bed so you don't have to buy that bigger vehicle you can have a smaller vehicle that do the exact same thing for you and with the turbocharged four-cylinder and with the hybrid ford is giving options to people not only from the older generation but the younger generation you know, the younger generation is going to like a car like this to be able to drive and to have fun with. And then you got a truck bed, you can do a lot of things, say like tailgating, going surfing or whatever, you know. So you got a, a utility vehicle that has so many options for you and not in the price range of a bigger vehicle that's going to cost you more in fuel and you want fuel efficiency. So now you got a car that has a truck bed and it gives you much more. And then when you think about it, even though the Ranchero comes out, the El Camino is not available because General Motors hasn't brought it back, you know? So this is a whole big new ball game for the Ranchero to be out on its own. But then again, when as I said, when you think about it, you get all these pickup trucks that are out and the SUVs that do the exact same thing as the Ranchero would do, giving you that car feeling in a car, yet you got a truck bed behind you. So the competition is still out there. And with sales being as it is right now, not too many people are buying new cars, although these cars are available. Ain't too many people are buying used cars. So here we're in this economic downfall right now. And it's a recession, regardless of what anyone says. This car is coming out, and it's coming out at a time that's pretty weird as far as finances go. You know, so with the competition being as it is, I would like to see the Ranchero do a real good job, especially I wish it could have had a small block V8 put in there, you know, but we still have to see what Ford does with the car and they bring it out. Now, as you see this one here, I did this video up at Volo Auto Museum, and this particular one, it was a 1960 model, and I thought it was a beautiful vehicle because I said, man, this Ranchero here is dynamite. I never saw one like this. And here lately, I've been coming across a few of them. 
And I saw this one. I said, my God, this one's clean. Real beautiful car, as you can see. But the thing is, I was never big on car trucks. And the ones I always saw, <laughs> unfortunately, not the El I mean, the Ranchero. I saw a few Rancheros. And I looked at them and said, okay, they're cool. You know, Ford got a truck, tr a car truck. But I saw one too many El Caminos, you know. So I don't know if it was because where I live, people love the El Camino more so, or the El Camino might have had the popularity among certain peoples. But I saw just one too many El Caminos. Yet this Ford Ranchero here, I wish I could have seen more of them, you know. And I would probably have had a different opinion just by being around them and getting a good feel for this type of vehicle. See, got to understand, and they bring this vehicle back, people today may not want what the Ford Ranchero will offer. So the broad spectrum here is, if it doesn't do well, and I felt like when the Maverick was brought back out, I was like, oh man, cool. I thought they were bringing out a car, now they brought out a truck. I said, I don't know if this thing's going to sell, and it's a small vehicle. The Ranchero coming in, taking over, is just another way of Ford trying to boost the sales. Because what I was saying with the ret ret with the retro truck, the broad spectrum of things, if, if no one is interested in this truck, with the pricing of the trucks and the SUVs now, as they get to be more and more popular, you notice that the price is going up and up and up, because some trucks, pickup trucks, are $100,000. Never would have thought that for a pick em up truck, now would you? But yet, this thing coming out is going to have to be not only cutting edge and give people what they want, but it's going to have to be cheaper than the pickup trucks and the SUVs, you know? Because in order for it to make sales, it's got to be affordable, and you got to give the people what they want. If you can't give the people what they want, they're going to pass over this red ranchero, you know? And it's not going to do well. So Ford is going to end up discontinuing it again. You know, was it the Ranchero's fault? We're in a downward recession, and it's a big one. And people are vying for, they want new vehicles, but they can't afford to get it, you know. And those who can afford to get it, they got more options, but they know it's going to be a pricey option. And the Ranchero... In order for it to have really great sales, it's going to be the handling package, you know, because in order to drive this thing, you got to feel comfortable with it. It's got to give a really good sedan ride yet to be able to haul like a truck. So when you have a variety of things you want to use it for, you want to be comfortable with the car, the vehicle, as you're traveling. It's, you know you can only put so much in it as far as weight, but you got to drive this thing. And then you're talking about weather conditions, if it's not going to be four-wheel drive, and if it's only rear-wheel drive, or maybe all-wheel drive, how's the handling? See, and the braking. So a lot of factors are going to key in on this, because if you get a really good vehicle out of this, you got a good sale.